This year, the Wethersfield High School design team partnered with CW Resources to take on a new and exciting challenge. I'm Chris Kaufman. I'm the facility manager for CW Resources. We're a private nonprofit. Our primary function is to try to find competitive employment for individuals who are disabled. CW Resources has worked with Source America, which is the leading source of job opportunities for people with disabilities. At CW, disabilities range from physical to mental, both natural and acquired as a result of an accident. Workers are given tasks such as assembling, packaging, salvaging, sorting, or mailing. One of the jobs at CW Resources consists of placing two identification tag chains, one short and one long, into an envelope, stapling the envelope, and setting it aside for packaging. The three parts of this job are currently done at separate workstations by CW employees with high levels of dexterity. Employees with low dexterity have a difficult time opening the envelopes and inserting the chains. Our team's design combines these tasks into one job in a way that allows employees with low dexterity to complete all three parts. hard part, making it small. Hello. Hey. One employee who cannot perform any of the three parts of this task is Tyrone Hill, also known as Mooch. Tyrone is an employee with an acquired brain injury. He has very limited dexterity and uses a wheelchair, however, he does have full use of his neck and right foot. Upon meeting Tyrone, the team immediately felt a connection with him. His current job consists of separating binder clips into boxes of 12. To do this, he uses a piece of assistive technology, a headpiece, that helps him push binder clips into the boxes. He describes this as tedious because he has been performing the same task for so long. Unfortunately, this is the only job that Tyrone is able to do. We saw Tyrone's frustration and decided to address it by creating a new piece of assistive technology. Our design provides Tyrone with a greater variety in the workplace. How does one open an envelope, insert two chains, and staple it together without the use of hands? To answer this question, our team split up into smaller brainstorming groups, each focusing on a different aspect of the problem. How do you grab a single envelope? How do you keep the envelope straight? How do you get the entire long chain in the envelope? How do you make sure the envelope is closed when it enters the stapler? To solve the problem, each of these questions, and more, had to be answered. Our initial ideas ranged from a guided rail system to a complex motorized device. After developing and adjusting prototypes, the Weathersfield High School design team created the path. The path is used as follows. First, the envelope is removed from the dispenser onto the smooth lower surface using the rubber wedges of the headpiece. Pressing the foot pedal raises the dropper, creating space for the envelope to be moved across the surface. It is then repositioned underneath the opening bar, stripping opening the envelope flat. The envelope then moves directly under the dropper, which falls as the pedal is released. The envelope slides up the dropper. The chains are picked up from the dashboard by the hook attached to the headpiece rod and dropped into the funnel envelope complex. I like it! I like it! The envelope is moved off the dropper using the headpiece. The pedal is pressed, which raises the dropper, and the envelope is pushed to the right. The envelope is then moved along a small ramp towards the stapler, which partially closes the flap. The envelope slides into the electric stapler, fully closing the flap and stapling it shut. The finished product is then moved over and off of the workspace into a small bin. While Mooch uses the headpiece, employees with low dexterity can use their hands to slide the envelope and move the chains. The path allows people who have low dexterity, or even no use of their hands, to perform a job that used to be limited to employees with high dexterity. Not only were we able to help Tyron, but we learned a lot from him as well. Among what Tyrone taught us is this, the impossible is not that which cannot be done, but rather that which has not been done yet. It's a creative job. It's very different. 
and I like doing it. And I thank all of y'all, okay, for helping me.